Welcome back, awesome Action Toy fans and subscribers. Having just made, built, assembled, and reviewed this awesome 30 minutes missions uh, 144 scale mech from Bandai, it's a, it's a kit and it scales really well 118. I've decided that I'm going to make another one because I really enjoyed the build and I want to get a uh, work my way through this uh, box of kits and other bits I've got to make it. This is a flight type, so it's the Alto, as in altitude, I guess. Flight type, Navy, looks pretty cool. See some artwork on the side here. And then you can see pictures of what it looks like assembled in some dynamic poses on this side here. Now these, building the basic droids takes around 30 minutes because they're quite simple. So you have in here, the two basic sprues for building your your mech and then you have the other parts for the specialist things like the wings and the weapons and any feet that, feet that are different to the standard feet and so on. So I'm going to watch a couple of TV shows that should give me enough time to, uh, to build this and I'll come back and we can have a look at the final result and compare with these two awesome guys and maybe a couple other figures and so forth. So. I'll be back in an instant for you and maybe 80 minutes or so for me. Okay, stay tuned. Okay, I'm back. Here he is. I'll just quickly show you versus the other two. So this is the one I reviewed the other day. And this is uh, the, mar the marine or the uh, submarine, the water version, I think is awesome. So this flying type, let's have a quick look at him. Uh, quite a fun build, took a little while because you've got to build lots of things extra for him. Um, loads of features has to be said, but some of the design things I think are a little bit out perhaps. Um, I might change these big sort of feet to his normal feet, even though it makes him taller. These side parts here don't actually touch the ground. He does have great articulation in there. Um, so the wings we can see there, they can come up all the way, they can turn around, the engines can turn around as well. He also has these big boosters underneath which can uh, change position and they can turn, and all sorts of articulation. You can even change his legs, the lower legs, to these booster parts if you want. Um, the guns you can take out and you have you can change the connect to this connector here so you can actually hold them in his hands instead of on his wings. Shoulders he does get to 90 degrees nice and easily. Bicep bend is really tight there over 90. Wrist is on the ball so it will turn and have a small motion there. Waist he does have a let me just take these off to get in the way a little bit. So he can turn from the waist, he has a trunk, which is pretty good as well. Hips, he will do full splits and all, well, the outwards and also the forwards and backwards direction. Legs is a double kneecap. Ugh. It says double kneecap, that one is so stiff. Uh, but he's a something is stopping him from getting this bend. The sculpt is stopping getting a tighter bend than that, which is just over 90. You can turn from the hip, and then the ankles are like outwards, like this. It's just fantastic bang, bang, and inwards. And then it's just a small forwards and backwards, too. So he's well articulated. I think it looks nice. I would like this sort of wing part here to be able to go flat as well, not just like that. Um, there is articulation on the hips where you can put the hip up as well um, and you have a little bit of that in the shoulder but his joints feel a little bit too loose in the knees I feel um, so and you see his hips are quite loose he wants to fall over there so I think I'll be changing his feet over to the standard sort of feet which look like um, Oops, wrong style, wrong ones. These ones here, because I think I prefer those. Even though these are great for balancing the forwards and backwards, the sideways 
is not great. For example, he this guy here could balance on one foot. This guy here could balance on one foot, but him would be almost impossible with being how thin those legs are. See how loose his knee joint is there as well. Okay, just clip that in a bit tighter because it'll be a bit stiffer, but his hips are loose too. Arms go, won't go all the way around, not of the wings there, which is unfortunate. I like him, I think he looks good. I need to tighten up some of the joints, particularly his uh, knee and hips. Uh, but he could have been a lot better. If this back part again could go like that, it would be good. As it is, the wings turn independently, the engine and the guns can turn independently from each other. But that back central part just stays like that because it's just a pushing. So you can take that out if you want to quite easily. If you look at his legs here, they are just not stiff enough, really. They can be a bit stiff, particularly he's got this weight on him. Now, if I take this out, the gun, I can pull out this part here. As I said, there is a handle which can go in. And then instead of having that on his wings, the handles are made for him to hold in his hands. And he can hold the guns particularly well. He's a decent kit. Um, out of the three... My favourite is definitely the uh, underwater version, though why is that snorkel? I have no idea. But this guy's pretty cool too. The fact he has so many options. So these jet thrusters, which I took off, they can use for legs, as I said, and they can bend. And also, you can take out these parts here. So he's got loads of posing options. It's really good. And he comes with a little drone, which is like this. The other two came with drones, which are more circular. like this one here. You also have these extra parts which are not feet, they go on the sides of the uh, the boosters here. I'm not sure what purpose they serve, they just don't do much or anything for me. So, in fact, if I take this gun out as well and take off the connector, don't lose these, and put this one in, I, if that could just move, that'd be so much better. I don't, think you need, I don't think you need those big boosters on anyway. But So I can do them like this with the engines down and his wings going up. Let's plug that back in. And it looks a bit like the uh, Joy Toy Flying Cavalry figures. You're matching them. In fact, I'll stick them up there for you. And also the, um, the 160 scale SAS mech, which also has wings. And again, I'll stick them in sister videos. Decent figure, looks pretty good. The options are great, and what's nice is a lot of these parts are obviously, um, what's the word, interchangeable with the other sets. So you want to put, you could change his legs over, you could attach these in because all the parts are sort of the same connectors and whatnot. So that is very useful. Again, another great kit by from the uh, Thirty Minute Missions. Uh, boxes by uh, Bandai. Okay, this is Awesome Action Toys. Please like, share and subscribe. And I'll be back soon with more Awesome Action Toy videos for you. Stay happy, click, uh, keep collecting and check out the rest of my content for more Awesome Action Toy video reviews of these sort of similar scales, larger scales, smaller scales and so forth. Bye bye.